What's up guys, Justin here with the SketchupEssentials.com, back with another SketchUp quick tutorial for you. So today we're going to create a classical vaulted roof and ceiling shape. So let's go ahead and just jump into it. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to come in here and we're going to draw a half circle. And uh, to do that you can either use the circle tool and stand it up, or you can use the arc tool, just like this. And then just draw a circle that's a half circle and uh, SketchUp will tell you when you're um, when you've drawn a half circle just like this if you have your mouse in the right place or you could also just set your length so if I typed in six feet and then I type the up key to lock this to the blue axis and then I typed in three feet that would also give me a half circle so So next thing we're going to do is we're going to come in here and you can see how this is kind of a choppy arc. Um, and my SketchUp seems to default to putting 12 segments in my arc. Um, if you do that, then this isn't going to look quite as good. So what we're going to do is we're going to add segments to this arc. And the way that you're going to do that is you're going to select your arc just like this. And then if you come in here to the entity info, it's going to tell you you have 12 segments in this arc. What we want to do is we want to up that to 24. So just select that 12, type in 24 and hit the Enter key. And you can see what that does is that really smooths out this line just like this. So it makes it a lot smoother, which is really going to help the way this looks when we kind of intersect our lines. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to select this arc and uh, we're just going to offset it. So tap that F key and click once um, to start offsetting and click again to set your offset. So in this case, I'm going to offset it to about two inches and then I'm going to draw in a line on each end of this here. And what that's going to do is that's going to fill in this shape. So you can see how now there's a face in here. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to create a copy of this at 90 degrees. So just come in here, select your object and then click once on this point and move over here and click to this other point and you're going to move this 90 degrees just like this but then you're going to tap the control key to turn on copy mode um, so that'll create a copy at 90 degrees from your original geometry and then the next thing you're going to do is you're just going to push pull these faces um, to the other side of your half circle so you can see how if I move my mouse um, to this point right here and I click this is exactly the length of our arc so we want to do that on both pieces just like this so just come in here and you just want to push pull this to the other side just like this and you can come in here and you can heal this face by just drawing a line across it just like this and erasing it so you can see what you have now is you have two um, kind of barrel shaped ceilings um, that are kind of intersecting each other and actually that's kind of the definition of this kind of ceiling um, so um, there's like a barrel vault is one kind of ceiling and it's basically a vaulted ceiling that goes in an arc like this um, and this is called a groin vault and uh, basically what that means is it's a ceiling created by two intersecting barrel vaults so um, so that's that's kind of the name for this particular kind of ceiling but the next thing you're going to do because now if you click on this you can see how each one of these faces is still a complete face well, what we want to do is we want to select everything in here by dragging a box across it and then you want to right click and you want to say intersect faces with model and you can see how when you intersect your faces with your model all of a sudden there's some lines along this face just like this and so once you have these lines in here you can tell how when I click on these individual faces just like this that they're all individual now well now what you're gonna do is you're gonna come in here and you're gonna delete out these interior faces so I'm just clicking on these and then hitting the delete key just like this and you can see how when I delete those out it leaves kind of the intersected geometry in here and you can see how even now um, even with the 24 sided circles these can get a little bit clunky in here um, just because of the leftover geometry but it still created the shape that we wanted uh, you could probably bump those up to like 45 or 48 sided circles if you wanted to but you can come in here and you can delete out this remaining geometry just like this and what that does is that leaves you with this kind of vaulted um, ceiling just like this and then there's a few different things you could do after this you could come in here and you could make this a component and you could just call it vault so now that you have kind of this vaulted ceiling there's a few things you could do one one of which would be you could create some copies uh, moving this along just like this you could create a copy of this object type in times five or something like that and create kind of a long hallway just like this so once you've kind of created your copies you could come in here and you could model columns you could do a whole lot of different things with this get a lot more detailed make some pretty cool stuff 
stuff. But anyway, um, so that's how you create a vaulted uh, classical arch in SketchUp. So leave a comment below. Let me know what you thought. Did you like this video? Uh, would you like to see more stuff with classical architecture? I've kind of thought about doing a little bit more with that, but I just want to see what you guys are interested in. So uh, leave a comment below. Let me know what you thought. Uh, if you liked this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new SketchUp content every week. Uh, if you like what I'm doing in this channel, please consider supporting me on Patreon. Every little bit helps, even if it's only a dollar a month. That just helps me keep bringing you great SketchUp content. But in any case, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.